Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. So, thanks to bugpack.com we get to learn about content security policy. I hope you guys are ready. First of all, some of you guys have been able to participate in the CARTS CTF challenge that has been created by bugpack.com and the winners of that will get their emails by the 23rd of January 2021. So if you haven't received your email by then, I'm sorry, but you didn't win. For those of you who did, congratulations. You guys are freaking amazing. Those writes up are really great to read. So let's get right to the video. Now, real quickly, guys, some programs, if you're doing bug bounties, they don't allow you to use third party applications such as BugPog or XSS Hunter to host your POGs on. Make sure that you read your scope pages properly for that. So let's get right into the challenge, shall we? A lot of you guys have probably found this HTML injection pretty quickly. It's a basic DOM cross-site scripting. Everything behind the hashtag is sunk into the DOM. Uh, and then you have your on error here, your JavaScript handle, which should pop an alert. But as you guys can see, it's not popping an alert for me. Now, this is where content security policy comes into play, because what that's doing in this instance is generating a nonce on the server. Now, if you guys don't know what a nonce is, you guys might be thinking, Uncle Rat, stop this nonsense, tell us what it is. A nonce is really simple. It's basically like a randomly generated string that's generated on every single request. Very important to notice every single request. So when your nonce is generated, any JavaScript that wants to be executed on your page needs that nonce to work. In this instance, we don't have our nonce in our attack factor, so it's not going to work. It's not going to fire. Now you can steal your nonce by over indexing. We have a couple of clues in the JavaScript file. So let's look at script.js and we can find that script.js by just inspecting element. That's what I do. Um, you can look here, it's usually in the head, there will be some scripts in here, you can see in here script.js. So this is one I'm going to look at for now. And we can see some functions in here. The first one is interesting, sanitize text. And what this does, it creates a text node. Now make sure that you guys read these documentations to know what the text node actually is and does. Now. What it basically does, and we'll get a little bit more into that later, but we have a generate cards function here. And this is a three dimensional array. We also have a parameter on that pop up window that's called indexes. And in there, we can enter an index. And what that will do is it will see on what index we are, and then it will sanitize the text on the player name. And basically, we can, be, because this is sanitized, this text is sanitized, we can over index it. The sanitization will do a text node creation, which is basically also an array and it gets pasted behind this. And we can over index into that. Now how that looks like in practice is like this. As I told you guys before, we need to grab the nonce and we cannot leave the page because we need to execute the JavaScript on the same page. If I execute a new request, a new nonce is being generated, and when I've stole is useless. So how I can break out of those indexes is pretty simple. I can go into the owner document. In there, I can go into the scripts, and in the zero index, I can find my nonce. Now, when I do that, I have to enter that data into a variable, and then I can input it into my JavaScript. How that looks like in practice is I can run it for you guys thanks to bugpog.com, which is a really cool functionality. I might need to, I still have the browser open, I think. So what this will do is it will display a button with a hack functionality in there. And when I click that, as you guys can see, it's grabbing the nonce for me now. And then when it has that, it's pasting it into the JavaScript file. So that's basically it. That's how we were able to bypass the nonce. I know it seems simple. It's anything but simple. So if you didn't get that solution, don't beat yourself up for it. Buck Puck is a genius at creating cross-site scripting challenges. He's really good at it. So if you guys are interested, I would highly recommend that you participate in the next one as well. Thank you guys so much. This event has been amazing. I hope you all learned something. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, amazing hackers.